everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today, I am so excited to show you the Ibex 24MTH. Yeah, it's a toy hauler, but it is designed for family adventure, even if you don't have any toys. So don't go anywhere if maybe hauling a big razor isn't your thing. If it is, this is gonna work as well. It's only 30 feet long. It weighs 6,700 pounds. It has a Murphy bed, so it's got great space for sitting in the front and carrying tons of gear. Such a great layout and all the features that you've come to know on an Ibex. So let's go inside and get started. But remember, features and options, they can always change. So check out what's important to you if you're checking out this trailer at your local dealer. All right, let's go inside and get started. Let's start out right here in this sleeping area. Obviously, it's a Murphy bed. You have space for, I mean, some of the family to hang out. If there's two of you, well, you've got room to spread out here. This is the best Murphy bed on the market, I think, because it's so easy to put up and down. And in the meantime, it's super comfy to sit here. It's really deep seating. So I'm only five foot tall. If you're a little taller than me, you're gonna appreciate that. All right, let's look at the storage on the side because that's the first thing I look at when I have a walk around bed. I love the lighting in these cabinets. With the glass front, it just gives you a little ambiance, but even better than that, you can see what's inside. So these doors open very easily. You've got that light on the side, the hanging bar at the top. Now, you guys already know, you can put shelves in there if you want to. There is space on top uh, if you wanted to stack some things up there. And down below, you'll notice right here underneath this door, uh, is the controls for the inverter. Every Ibex is gonna have a 2000 watt inverter and that's going to take the battery power and turn it into 110 power, just like this plug right here on the side of the cabinet. That's really helpful if you are off the grid, not plugged in at a campsite, and there's a few things that you need to run. Maybe a small appliance, maybe you charge your computer, whatever works for you, that is the control for it right here. There is two USB plugs right next to it, so you've got all the different kinds of power on each side. All right, this side doesn't have storage underneath this side table, but the other side does. So let's take a look over there really quickly. Right over here, you've got two cupboards in there. Now they're about two feet deep, so it's no small space. The same things on the top with the USB, the 110 plug, and the switch for the lights. Now, let me show you how easy it is to put this bed down. All there is is just lift this up, goes flat, and you pull that latch. It's going to come down along with the mattress. So easy because that is the major complaint of having a Murphy bed. Setting it up and down sometimes can just take more effort than you want to do every day. But this one is super easy. A few more things to point out here. The really nice window that goes all the way across. That really opens it up when you've got it down for sleeping. Also on the sides, you can see behind this cabinet, there is a shelf halfway up. But then there's also a pretty deep uh, little cupboard space there. It doesn't have a door, but great place to stack some things in there that you might want to keep next to the bed. Now, did I mention that this is a 60 by 80 bed? That's a true queen, just like the queen you have at home. There's also this great map on the back of it. It's going to be the map of the U.S. and you get 10 stickers to stick on there. They are removable, so you can move them around, maybe for the trips you want to take or the places you've been, whatever works for you. Windows on both sides, so you can get great airflow in this area and a vent right at the top. But speaking of airflow, this does have a nice ducted AC, and that's throughout this. 
You'll have it in here in the living area, which has the Murphy bed. You will also have it out there in the toy hauler portion. This is a, a kind of a divided in half. It's not open into that toy hauler area. That's really nice. If you, maybe you don't want to be uh, sleeping out there and you just want this to be a separate living area and not having any fumes coming in here. Let's take a look right here to the left of the door. Up at the top, the standard switches for the lights that come in. Now this single one on the right, that is going to be the bright lights on the back of the trailer because if you're loading or unloading your gear at night, that's super important. It's also going to light up that back porch we're going to take a look at outside. But the awning right here, the slide out room, and of course the lights on the awning. This has an amazing awning on it, so that's a nice feature. There is always a question about how much space there is when we pull the slide in, so we're going to do that for you right here. Now because of this L-shaped kitchen, you can see it is very easy to access the bathroom when you're traveling, even if the slide out is in. That's a plus, don't you think? 32 inch television, a nice spot right here, man. You gotta have a place to put your keys when you walk in. And not only do you have this nice top here on top of the fireplace and some more gear, but you've got two hooks and a bottle opener on the end. Really nice. Let's talk just a second about this fireplace. It's not all about the ambiance, although that's kind of cool. It is electric heat as well, so it can heat up this space if you want to just, you know, make it a little toasty in here. Underneath you have the converter and a vent, of course, for the furnace. Let's take a look. You know, a lot of times I don't show how these fireplaces work, but I thought I'd just take a second to show you that it's so easy to turn this on and you have options on what the color looks like. Different kinds of flame here. You can mix the red and the blue. So all kinds of features there. But you can also change the color coming up from the bottom. There is one, I believe this is it, that's going to kind of rotate through all the options. So depending on what you're looking for, this can be a nice nightlight. All right, let's keep moving around because this kitchen, it's not huge, but it's very workable. First, we're going to take a look at this pantry. Pantry space is always important. And look at this. It is over two feet deep. It's really wide. You've got three shelves. Now this bottom one is so deep. The base of it goes all the way down to the bottom. You do have a lip on the front, so you'd have to kind of feed things in there. But if you wanted to carry any larger appliances, a toaster, anything like that, that would be a great place to store it and then have your food up here. Pots and pans would fit in there and not rattle around. Just lots of space here. All right, let's keep going. Eight cubic foot refrigerator. This 12 volt refrigerator is compressor driven, so it uses a fraction of the energy that a standard 12 volt does, but it cools in two hours. That's incredible. You've got nice shelves on the door, crisper bins in the bottom, really some nice space. Another great thing about these is that they're very quiet and they don't require venting on the outside, so they use the space very efficiently. I am a huge fan of this and an eight cubic refrigerator is going to be great if you're carrying your kids with you to have a great adventure off the grid. Nice three burner stove. They don't skimp on this. They put a very nice sized stove in here. Again, we've got bunk beds in here and if you've got four or five people, you're going to have to do some cooking. Underneath is the microwave convection that you'll see in all the Ibexes. That's really going to help you with a variety of cooking because you can broil a steak, you can bake a cake, you can make that biscuits and gravy right here. Super easy in this space with the microwave convection. If you're not used to a convection, don't worry, it comes with directions. Now up above, a little more storage up here. These are pretty deep, about 18 inches, but not very tall. 
So maybe paper goods, a few things like that can fit up there. And I like to point out counter space. This is a beautiful kind of live edged wood. It's meant to be a very natural looking. Um, it is a composite material, uh, so it cleans really easy, but they did give you space back here in the corner. So if there is appliances you want to set up, you know, my coffee maker always has to find a home in a trailer. So that would be a great space for it back there. And the nice round sink. This is 10 inches deep. It has got the brushed dark pewter look to it and such a nice residential faucet with the sprayer. You know, if you're doing some cooking, you might have a stock pot, maybe filling some of those big thermos jugs for that hike. Super easy to do right here on the end. A little bit more storage right here. It's about 18 inches deep. And the controls right here are going to be for the air conditioner that's in the roof right here. It's a thermostat just like the one at home. Easy to keep this whole place cool. Let's take a look at the bathroom right across. Now stepping in here, you'll notice there is not a lot of dancing room, but there's plenty of storage and plenty of room to do what you need to do in a bathroom, right? You've got two shelves, the opening on the bottom, and a blank wall behind the toilet. So great space for hanging towels, right? You gotta hang your towels up somewhere. I like the way they have done this cabinet. You do have about eight inches deep here on this counter space on the left. You know, there are things you might want to set down on the counter and leave them there while you're camping. Maybe a makeup bag, a top kit, whatever works. And underneath an open cabinet, as well as a closed cabinet underneath the sink. And as usual, you have to work around the drain pipe, but yeah, still more space to store a few things. Underneath that's the 110 plug because you always have to have that in a bathroom somewhere. Right behind me, you will see the shower. Now this is a 32 inch shower. You've got the handheld at the top and the attached curtain. So nothing flopping around here. Uh, it also is wider at the top. So you're gonna have some elbow room when you get in there. You're not gonna be running into the shower door at the top. So a really compact space in here, but very workable. Before we go, they have done something that I really like. They have put a lot of the controls right here in the bathroom on the back side of this entrance door. So they're not part of your decor in the main living area. So let's take a look at those. Now, because of the camera angle, I'm standing in between the toilet and the counter. There's space for me here, however, to work these, you're just going to be leaning your head in, looking around the corner. Very easy to do, so don't let that put you off. At the top, there is the solar charge controller because every Ibex has a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. You can upgrade your system so that you have over 500 watts of solar, lithium batteries, and a 3000 watt inverter instead of a 2000. That is going to be for people who really want to spend more than a day or two off the grid and really have that adventure. So keep that in mind if that's what you're looking for. But this is the solar charger, just gonna make sure that the solar panels don't overcharge your batteries. And down here, the monitor panel for the gray, black, and the fresh water. And of course, it will read your battery as well. This trailer has 40 gallons of fresh, 40 gallons of gray, and 30 gallons of black. So you've got plenty of tank size. Down below the water heater and the water pump. And down below that, you will see a panel that says heated holding tank system. And that is for the fresh gray and the black. This trailer has enclosed tanks underneath. But if you're driving and it gets down to freezing, you're not running your furnace. So you'll wanna be sure those tanks stay warm. That's what these are for. This is a 12 volt heated system for those tanks. And of course, the light switch for the bathroom, all right here, just inside the door. All right, now it's time to take a look at the actual area in the back that not only has bunk beds, but it's gonna fit that razor or the kayaks or the bikes that you wanna bring along with you. Let's go. 
The sliding door coming into this area is one of the things I like the most. Sliding doors stay out of your way and it has a magnetic catch. So you're not always trying to line it up or catch it on something. It's just a magnetic catch right there. Let's take a look at these bunk beds. You have a queen bed on the bottom and the twin bed on the top. They hold 300 pounds and so they're great for adults, great for kids, and fold up against the wall when you're not using them. That's right. This is plenty of space for a full-size razor for any of the gear that you want to bring. And remember, if you don't have something like that that you want to take with you, you're always going to have a bicycle or two for the kids, maybe uh, things that you want to grill with, cook outside, roll that right in here and tie it down with the D hooks that are in the floor. You've got six of them right here on all edges to tie things down so they don't move around when you're traveling. You do have windows on both sides so you can get great airflow in here and a power fan at the top. So you really can create a breeze with that. You also have the standard vents at the top and at the bottom over here in case you are carrying something that may need some ventilation because of the fumes. So standard trailer, but built out for the family as well. There is some storage in here. Let's take a look. So right over here, this is a really nice closet here. And I love that there's shelves and hanging space. So very versatile. You can obviously adjust for whatever you need, but yeah, great to have both. What is it? It's a safe for whatever you want to put in there and lock up. Down below is a road vac. This is a really great feature. I like that they put it over here in the back because this is the area that's going to get the most outside traffic. So it does come with the hose kit in this trailer so that you can hook up the hose just like a standard built-in vacuum and clean up any messes that are around. One temp plug underneath, vent right there on the left for the heat, and of course, if you're sweeping up in here, it still has the foot pedal for the vacuum as well. Just lift it up, sweep the dirt nearby, it's gonna suck it all up in there, and you just empty that when you get home. So a very versatile vacuum system for this area, but the hose should reach in there as well. I really love the versatility of this trailer. And part of that is because it's lots of living space and space for all those things you wanna take with you. Now, when the back folds down, it's a patio. That's awesome, even for families. Let's take a look. You can't forget the screen because that's gonna keep all of those mosquitoes and bugs outside when you're in here resting, sleeping, having fun. And you know, on a cool night, you might wanna sleep with the tailgate down, the screen up, just to keep all those bugs out. Let's take a look out here at this patio. Now, of course you could use this deck for your lawn chairs, just relaxing, you know, maybe a picnic, anything like that. But you, it's also got lights, so it's really nice at night. You could have your stargazing party out here and once you get set up, turn those lights out. The lights, by the way, you can do in white or in yellow, depending on which way you turn the switch. So the yellow is great for keeping those bugs out of the way and not being so glaring in the dark sky. While we're talking about the lights, I can also mention that it comes pre-wired for a backup camera. So you can always have that added at the dealer if you'd like. Now, as we go inside, one more thing, door on the side. So there is a separate door for this area because you might wanna go in and just check on your gear. You may not wanna traipse through the front of it, or maybe just have a separate entrance for the kids to come in and out. So that is a nice feature right here to move in and out of this trailer. But we're heading outside and we're gonna check out all the things out there. Let's go. With all the great space inside this trailer, the outside is no exception. This is a 20 foot awning and it comes out 10 feet. That is a huge outside area. Really nice if you've got inclement weather or you just need the shade. 
But over here, they have what they call their bush kitchen. This is the table that fits on the rail here, and this actually has a griddle top. This is a brand new unit, so it's still wrapped up in paper. But this is a griddle top, very nice to cook on, and electrical underneath here, in case you wanna hook up some music, maybe some party lights. You've also got a spray port. Now, this is not just any spray port. This is like 20 foot long. This is awesome right? And not only do you have your cooking, then you have your furnace outlet right here. Down below, I know it wasn't lost on you that these are 16 inch off-road tires and look at that clearance. It's amazing. Towards the back, there's the windows for the bunks back here and that vent I was mentioning for some cross breeze if you've got some fumes. And then, of course, again, the best part of this trailer, the patio on the back. So coming around this way, there is a ladder here to go up on the roof. This roof has a 15 year warranty. It is a, a PVC roof. So you'll have lots and lots of good years with the roof on this. This is probably a good time to mention as well when we're talking about the roof, that this is a not only a fiberglass outside, but you have Asdell underneath it. Asdell is a composite that repels water, so it makes it really strong. You're not gonna have any DLAM. The block foam in between, aluminum framed, just really well built. If you wanna go have some adventures off the road, this trailer's gonna hold up. The ladder on the side, so many trailers don't have ladders, but you may wanna get up there for some maintenance. And of course, that side door that I was telling you about to go in, if you do have a side-by-side -side in here, you might wanna just peek in, check and be sure it's riding well, or another entrance for the kids. Over here on the side, the plug-in for the cable. Uh, if you're at a park that has cable, your power cord, and underneath the slide out right here is going to be your uh, dump valves for your tanks. Now, it seems kind of awkward underneath the slide, but remember, you set up that before you put your slide out out, and if you go to a dump station, your slide's gonna be in anyway. So it's really not gonna be an inconvenience. Up front, of course, you've got the city water connection and the tank fill for the 40 gallon fresh water tank. Water heater right here around the front, of course, the black diamond plate rock guard and the rounded front now let's talk about the windshield because that's what it is. That is the same as your windshield, that glass on the front that makes the bed so comfortable and makes the space feel so open. No need to cover that. It's just like the windshield on the car and please don't cover that either. Electric jack on the front, dual propane, of course the five gallon propane tanks and you have a uh, battery disconnect right there on the front as well because the batteries will mount right here and you can easily fit two of them in that space. You've got a nice storage compartment right here with a magnetic catch on the top. Now this doesn't go all the way through, but it goes almost all the way through. So you've probably got a good six feet in here. And you know, the last thing I really love these fold-up steps. They're so easy to use, very sturdy, adjustable on the bottom. That's a real plus coming in and out of this camper because you do need a little more steps if you're putting a nice ground clearance on it. And since this trailer was really made to pack in all your adventures and go off the grid, that's important stuff. This is a great trailer for families. A great trailer for somebody who likes to carry a lot of gear, maybe has that nice razor that you love to take out in the wilderness. Any of those scenarios would work well in this Ibex 24 MTH. Thanks for hanging in there with me, taking a look at everything. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV, and I will see you next time.